What is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, I wanna die, apparently. Oh my god. Okay, let's try that again. You. I don't have a horse revolver. That's too bad. Oi. Well, rip horse. <coughs> Had to be done. Sorry, old friend. Stupid people wanna. I don't want it. There's only four. All right, let's go ahead and I guess. Well, we have to run because it's the only thing we can really do. Hey, I need that too. So I guess we'll keep working on the camp though. Alright. Oh, it's frisky. Uh oh. Got to just chill by the water. New south? How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way now of course there's gonna be casualties we're thieves in a world that don't want us no more we are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts now i'll give you that but come on oh that's no. let's we got the day it's nice out old jose says that there's a trick around here i reckon it's full of fit I'm supposed to go fishing this mission? Kinda lame. It's pretty quiet here. Hey! Old girl, come on down here! Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey! You don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long over such. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting. You. Of horse? Come on, Jose. Let's go fix All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. I have a new horse. Sweet. Huh, Dutch is going on a mission like that. That's different. We don't ever have Dutch. Yeah. Uh, why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. The 
curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching. But I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Great, so we gotta play it safe and nice here. Whoa. Weapons and rogues. Hmm. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to... Well, well, look who it is. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. Now, he is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! Okay, this is different. I kind of like it. You hear me? Come on, hurry! All right, come on, we're losing them. No, I'm not. I'm not going. We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Huh. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Look at me up. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said Freddy. Oh. Yeah. My horse is too slow for this. Look at you two fellas all cuddled up. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that must have hurt. Leave them. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Push. Yeah. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Stop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Stop. Stab you. Let go. Okay, this is awkward. Come on. You stop them. I'll stop 
the train. You hold it right there. Anderson boys, though? <laughs> I just lost my gun. Is that it? Now, this is a Come on, Mr. Callahan, I'm relying on you. Where are you going to run to? This is such a weird mission. Just you and me now. Trying. The fact that I just beat him with a knife with no health was amazing. Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel. Gosh, I'm bloody. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. What now? You take him in. Come on. A fine Guess job. one of the big well person of the Anderson class. A pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. Okay. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Wow. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. It's another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. I hope just gotta wake up randomly. Well, I'm caught in trouble in a different way, got Dutch. Who knew, who knew I was gonna be on an island of Greece? 
Actually, I think during this time the Ottoman Empire. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Okay, I hit the button, but you know. Chop, chop. Don't just leave him slumped on there for the whole town to see. Carry him over then. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo? What the heck? Better They're not... be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying and Arthur, that's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. What the heck just happened? Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can do. Almost so slow. Great weights. Alright. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Hey, stupid! Out of the way! You know what's your fish? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot uh. you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Come on, horses. Of course. All right, gentlemen, follow me. A horse takes forever. Let's go, boy. Oh. <laughs> so, how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still. And it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. 
Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch. You've been fishing. Pit Drums are extremely it's a good spot. hard to catch. Let's we'll see if you're as good at catching aggressive. fish as you are at catching criminals. Or really, don't get tired of eating. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something. But his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Craig? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. But sometimes more smartly than others. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawneys. What a terrible thought. Mm. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Oh, such a random story. Why would... Rotten oyster? Oh. Actually, I've never even had an oyster, so... And again, we're talking when food... ...world. Right after the Civil War, it looks like. I think I guess saw some boats around last course. time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. Wait, boats? We're gonna learn how to swim in deep water? Or fish in deep water? I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Can North even swim? I don't think we went over that. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Hey. Uh. Let me roll. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. All right, we've never. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do. Too. Oh, it's actually really easy. Get us a bit deeper. I kinda like this, okay. Great water physics still. I think here's good. Alright. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure, that'll give us a better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with good old worm? Oh, uh, worms are Good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real. Hey, 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 been a while. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. 
Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. You got a bite. It looks like you got a bite, Arthur. That's on the hook, Arthur. How do I get here? Hello, lure. It's random. I like it. I'm catching here, probably sturgeon. That's a, that was like a bluegill. Hey, look at this beauty. Oh no, that's a drum. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot oh, that's than that. You got Pollock a hate fish. Told me once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. I would like to see that. Hey, I reckon we call okay, it. Okay, I'm gonna take the button. Wow, these things fall All right. Out. You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. That'd be cool. Good idea. Could be useful. We'll I like that idea. Horses. Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Now, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, what? All right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She mm -hmm. says, wait till the taters is done. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. <laughs> I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know what song we should be singing? What? Well. Look at us, three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners to leak up from the sea. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Maybe it is a bully boy who complains me on this round and round. men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men that do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy come pledge me on this ground of ground of ground of ground of ground of ground You know, we should not let the folks back again. Oh, this was a fun little mission. Okay, well, all right. Probably... Oh my God. I think I. Well, I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Oh. I always know, whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the... That was a long I'll give these fish to Pearson. Holy cow. Alright guys, next time on Red Dead Redemption. 94%, we're almost a quarter of the way there. So, um, we need to get a legendary fish, but what I'm really curious is, is my fishing stuff. 
We got five out of thirty. We only need like twelve. What do we need to do? Uh, cricket. And he tells you what the legendaries are. But guys, I will see you in the next one.